Back. I think it's important to discuss well-being, mindsets and self-development. I don't really see much videos talking about that stuff for producers. I think it's important for us as a community to be talking about that because it's all good making a beat, point out there, getting the likes and the comments, the good feedback and whatnot. But once you start seeking outside validation and you don't get it, you've given away all your power, then how do you pick yourself up from that? So this video is part two to some of the mistakes I see producers make. And these are some of the things that I've done as well and let go of as I've progressed in my music journey. So if you're doing some of these things that I mentioned, now is a good time to start looking at what you're doing, getting rid of some of these habits and progressing to the next level. What's going on? It's KC. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're well. Hope you're good. So in this video, we'll be talking about five things I see us producers, new producers making when it comes to your mindset, certain things that's holding you back from getting to the next level. I'm always talking about getting to the next level because that's what it's about, progression and moving forward in doing what we love, making beats, putting ourselves out there, working with artists, all that good stuff. But first, before we do that, let me shout out my two new subscribers. Shout out A Knight and KHD Official. Thank you both for hitting that subscribe button, being part of the community, hitting that notification bell so you get notified anytime I put up a new video, because that's important. You need to do that, otherwise you're, you're gonna miss out. And you don't wanna be missing my videos. Favorite comment for this week's coming from Kristen. Thanks for the comment, I appreciate your feedback. I've heard that quite a lot just lately as well, especially in that video. So yeah, always happy, happy to help and I'm glad that my videos helped you. All right, enough of that, let's dive into this video. So one of the common mistakes I see us producers make is Comparing our chapter one to someone else's chapter 20, chapter 50, just comparing our timelines. This is one of the quickest ways for you to, to quit. I've said it before in my other videos, talking about mindset, comparing yourself to others and how it's a good compa comparison is a thief of joy. If you're doing that, stop. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. You're not going to wake up one morning and all of a sudden stop. It's something you have to train your mind to do you just work on daily it happens i've done it myself i've listened to another producer's beat especially when i started when i first started off and i heard the beat and i think that is absolutely amazing why am i even making beats i might as well just stop but then over time i just gradually got to a point where i stopped comparing myself to other producers and started to compare myself to how i sounded when i first started and that shift in mindset that shift in paradigms priceless so if you can stop comparing yourself to others don't compare your timeline to other people's you're on your own journey your own path i know it sounds cliche and all fluffy but it's seriously as soon as you stop doing that you're going to see a major difference in your whole being the way that you think the way that you are the way that you produce your music because you're unique you're you i can't make beats like you so just own your uniqueness stop comparing the second thing not believing in yourself enough like if you don't believe in yourself how do you expect someone else to believe in you how do you expect me to believe in you you've got to get to a point where you believe in yourself so much you know that it's going to happen you know that you're going to make something of your career of your music of your brand you've got to be careful with outside validation because like i said earlier when you start seeking outside validation the comments the likes and then one day you might post something and you get that one negative comment and you're gonna focus on that. You've got a tendency of focusing on the negative for some reason, but if you can push past that point where you don't see outside validation, it's just, it's all from, the sound a little cliche again, but it's all from the belief that you have inside that God's given you or whatever your beliefs are. So once you've got that belief, again, this is gonna help you with your mindset and being able to deal with frustration, setbacks and obstacles. The third thing that I see new producers do, or we as producers do, is a lot of talking. Let's talk more work. I learned that from a young age, talking about stuff that I'm gonna get. This one always sticks in my mind. As a kid, I was promised a pair of trainers. At the time, I didn't have none. I think probably I had holes in the ones I was wearing. No sob story, no violence. It's just the way it was. So I had my heart set on them trainers. And I think I told people, yeah, I'm getting them trainers. You know, as a kid, you tell people, you're getting this and you got this and blah, blah. I never got them. The pain, <laughs> that stayed with me, so I've always, I've always felt like don't talk about it until you've got it. So let's talk more work. Don't tell people oh, I'm going to start a YouTube channel. Or I'm going to I'm making this beat and I'm I'm going to do this and that. Like yeah, it's good to have goals. It's good to have a vision. It's good to have something that you're working towards. And maybe you do feel like you want to tell people because you're excited about it. But if you tell people about something that you're going to do, that excitement's kind of gone. So you might even in yourself you might even feel like mm, I don't really want to do this now. So it's it's a whole mindset thing of working towards what you know. You're making happen so it's just a case of let's talk more work it's been working for me i've had comments and dms from people saying bro like i didn't even see this one coming you just 
putting in work and say nothing. And that's just how I am. And I think that works for me. So yeah, I feel that it could work for you as well. Cause I see a lot of producers talking about stuff, a lot of talk and there's the work's not matching up. So don't get stuck in that, that rut. Full thing I see producers doing is not being able to take feedback for the, the stuff that you're putting out. When you're putting your music out there, you're doing your videos, you're creating your content, you're kind of putting yourself out there to be judged. So you've got to be able to deal with the comments that come. Not all of them are going to be positive. Not all of them are coming from a place of help. If they're not, then you've got to kind of feel sorry for the person that's dropping them comments because why would you waste your time and giving someone feedback that's not really going to help them, but you're just trying to shoot them down. Like, what's the point in that? I don't really see the point in that. That's weird. Fun fact, I've never hit the dislike on a YouTube video. If I don't like it, I just, I just click X and come out. I'll just go and find the next video. I've never hit the dislike button on any video at all. That's just me. So yeah, not being able to take feedback. The way I see it, all feedback is good feedback. So if someone's dropping a comment and you're not really happy with what they're saying, keep it moving. Don't focus on that one comment. If you've been working on your self-validation, that's not gonna affect you. If you've got other comments that are, are positive, just focus on them ones. So yeah, being able to take feedback, constructive feedback, negative feedback get to a point where you, you just you hear it but you don't hear it the fifth thing i see producers doing is having no vision no real goal no real aim like if you if you just jump in a car <laughs> you just jump in your car you just jump in a bus or the tram whatever you transport you use and you've got nowhere that, to go in particular and what's the purpose what's the point i understand setting goals is not for everyone not everyone wants to set goals but if you've got a vision you know where you're going you're heading towards something got a name something that you're working towards something to get up for in the morning or work till late if that's how you like to do things so that's the fifth thing having a vision having a goal something to work towards 2021 is around the corner let's all reach our goals let's all get to the the level that we know that we should be at a lot of the times we don't even know that we're making these mistakes got these bad habits and bad patterns so the first step is just to recognize that we are making these mistakes and if this video has helped you to realize that maybe you are making some of these mistakes and job done. There's also another thing as well I forgot to mention in the video, spamming. I've done it before, gone into a place of work, been like trying to just push my headphones in anyone's ears that will listen. Anyone who make eye contact, I'll be like, listen to my new beat. Same with being online. Check out my beats, pushing your music on anyone and everyone. It's not the way forward, especially like I said, 2021 20, around the corner couple of weeks away got to do things different the old way is not working how you can't expect new results with old ways i think that's how the, the quote goes i'll drop the quote there feel free to dm me if you want got any questions dms are always open always happy to help drop a comment below if there's anything that's helped you to progress could help others in the community so drop a comment below let us know if you like this video at all hit that like button if you want to see more videos like this hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell as well so you get notified anytime i put up a new video as per usual i appreciate your time